Hello viewers, this is Amboss Studier, and tonight, second Nintendo no news video, we'll be regarding more about more possible details at Mario about Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. So yeah, this game, seriously, it's got so many leaked information. Jeez, this game. Every time I get a, I do a video on Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, I just get hype. So today's topic, we'll be talking about the origins. About the, how the game originated, in some in-game details, and possibly the hint of possible amiibo. Could we possibly get a Mario laser gun amiibo or a, or some possible amiibo with the game? Could we possibly get a Mario a Mario um a line a amiibo line of Mar I mean, an amiibo line? For Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, cause this game, seriously, they could have eight amiibo just for it. Like, maybe um, here's some prediction with the with the Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle amiibo. Like, you use one, you can like get your own custom character, your custom Mario character, and you can just level it up. And every time you level it up, yeah, or after a few after you, after leveling up, you can get like a new weapon upgrade. New what like more power and weapons, defense, attacks, skill, etc. But I, that's just my prediction. So, we, I'll be showing you two different articles about these details. So, all right. So, without further delay, let's get to the. We're doing two articles. So, let's start with the Nintendo Everything article. The article on Nintendo Everything starts off with WWG was the first site to have posted the full key arc for Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Kind of fully. Um, and that, a new article has been shared with additional details. Today's information covers the game's origin, including a, potent a potential start on Wii U, more game details, and possible Amiibo. We rounded up all the tidbits below. You can read the full article here. Number one, de team at development started began roughly three years ago. So back in 2014, this game was already in development three years ago. Three years ago, this game has been has been just been already a, a separate developing a Mario and Rabbit's crossover title. All right, number two, not a case of Nintendo approaching Ubisoft. So, do not for explanation of that. Do not, people do not think this is a way for Nintendo approaching Ubisoft to join them in the Switch lineup. No, this is all Ubisoft. Ubisoft is completely working on Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Nintendo did not approach Ubisoft at all, so no, do not confuse that. Three, it's supposedly Ubisoft's brainchild. Number four, it began as a proposal that went through this that went to the standard pitching process one has to go through to get a game made on Nintendo, including a presentation to their higher ups. Four, wait, <coughs> hold on, let me count. One, two, three, four. Okay, five, five. Site sources say they have been they have been they have seen functional prototypes of a Wii U version of the game at various points of development. So when they're developing the game, we had some we had possibly they tested out they had a Wii U prototype during development. Sweet six Ubisoft Millen is handing the core creative direction. Seven prevailing sense of Nintendo letting go of the range of the project. All right, eight. The Nintendo reps are closely overseeing and an approval is needed for anything concerning the use of their character. So Nintendo, so many reps of Nintendo have to have to approve the game. Be, so because since Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle is using Nintendo characters like Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Yoshi, they have, they have to have Nintendo's approval in order to develop the game. So so they're not infringing on on Nintendo's on uh, Nintendo's characters. So nine. However, even the most out outlandish ideas from the developers have been met with little resistance. Ten, there's some twisted sense of humor in the game, so yeah. Eleven, has some real self-referential gags. Like there's some, there's some cool self-referencing gags. Twelve, there isn't. There was there was the early prototype that had a hunky, or oh, not not hunky, hulky DK. Or Donkey Kong on me. Oh my god. Oh my god. See if I mess up, that'd be because I'm. Because I'm just hyped for all these details. Early prototype had a hulky Donkey Kong themed rabbit serving as one of the first boss encounters. So, during. During one of the. Pro oh my god. 
give me a second. Oh, uh, wait. Sorry if you saw that. My computer's really laggy, but... On one of its early prototypes, imagine a DK-themed rabbit as one of the bosses. It's the first boss you encounter. Oh my god, give me a second. My computer is like so slow. Give me... I'll be right back. I am back, so... The rabbit has access has access to a pile of bananas that can that it can use to replenish its health. Players are requested are uh, not requested required to first cut off his food supply to prevent him from recovering before they can do some real damage. So in a DK in a DK about in a DK rabbit battle, uh, players have the uh, players have to make sure they cut off DK's food supply so DK doesn't recover and so they can finally attack DK without it and take him down. Also, the DK Rabbit apparently will dab periodically if he lands an attack correctly. It's also a cool, a possible reference to DK's dab in Mario Kart 8 when DK, the trick you can see DK do a dab. Once the boss is defeated, one member of the player's party, of the player's party, a rabbit cosplaying as Princess Peach, takes out a smartphone and naps a selfie with DK, with the DK Rabbit as it collapses. All playable characters have an individual skill tree of sorts, the, through which they can develop their own special abilities. Each one starts with a base skill that they can later improve, learn new skills as well. Example, Mario has a passive ability, oh, excuse me, I almost my finger. Mario has a passive ability which enables him to automatically fire at, at an enemy if they enter his field of vision during the enemy's turn. Some of these powers are common across multiple characters. Unique one like Peach's powerful ability to inflate enemies using a foot pump until they explode. Jeez, Peach, Peach, they would just turn Peach to a badass. Wow. This is more of a badassiness. Online Sweet was apparently being tested a several months back, but it, it was inaccessible in the test build. So, so maybe some online functionality at some sort? Arena mode spotted in a test UI, promising some local co op action. Um, this is a big one. Amiibo support seems to be planned, so they're planning to do some Amiibo on this game. Cool. <coughs> the prototypes feature a mode called Amiibo, or a dubbed Amiibo Machine. Ubisoft is said to be producing prototype figurines of some of the game's characters. These could be a, this could be for a potential Kingdom Battle Amiibo lineup. It does plan to be announced during the Switch's unveiling in January, but it was pushed back to receive further polish. So, this is all this was planned back in January 2017, but that but the company said Ubisoft has pushed the game back all this pushed the game a bit back until like uh, May and should for all the info in May so they can further polish the game to make sure it doesn't come out uh, bad. So good move, Ubisoft. Good, 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 good move, Ubisoft. Good you, because I want this game to be perfect and flawless. I want it to be completely polished for release. Well, let's go to the My Nintendo News article to see if it, there's anything different. All right, Nintendo, the ten, the uh, My Nintendo News article seems to have some different, almost some different information. Regardless, so. Many Nintendo news article sets up with further details for Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Again, a statement that very little people wanted to expect, wanted or expected, have emerged. We know from leaks last week that the quirky title should be revealed in its entirety soon. But in the meantime, ComicBook.com has got their hands on even more info from a U Ubisoft source. Check them out below. The development started three years ago, so yeah, Ubisoft was the one who came up with the idea and went through the standard pitching process from the to Nintendo executives. Seems like the title may have been in the works for Wii at first, though. This title was originally supposed to be planned, was in the works for the Wii U, but I got decided to put it on the Switch. Good move there, because the Wii U, because I'd rather see this on the Switch, which because the Switch is more powerful than the Wii U. Being made by Ubisoft's Paris and Milan divisions, with the core direction being handled by Milan, the tenants always need to love and approve in ideas, but, it's be, but it's, have been very accepted and quick to approve ideas. Game feed is surreal, self-referential gags. At one point, there was a large DK themed rabbit. So it was one of the first boss encounters. The rabbit, that this rabbit has access to a pile of bananas, so it needs to replenish its health. To be able you, you have to cut its food supply to prevent from recovering. The DK rabbit will dab periodically if he lands an attack correctly. When the boss faints, the rabbit calls Spinus by Peach, 
and your party takes a selfie with him. The player will create a site of the school tree. Pause for yourselves because I'm trying to I'm trying to see the nigga. You start the base skill though, that can later improve. Mario's a passive ability that makes you fire an enemy. Similar powers. Peter's powerful ability. The online sweep is being tested several months back. All this mode is inaccessible in the test builds. Additional one named Arena was spied in the test UI. Prototype feature mode called Amiibo Machine, but the details. Part has feature a, a mode dubbed Amiibo Machine, but the details behind it remain a mystery. He was also by producing prototype figurines of some of the game's characters, which made it turn out to be Amiibo. This game was originally intended to be unveiled during January. The during Nintendo's January Switch event, the re the reveal got pushed back in order that the game get more polished. It will be revealed at E3 2017 and could release in August or September. So, with all these details, are you excited to see a possible a possible amiibo lineup of Mar for the Mar for Mario's Kingdom Battle? Like, a Peach Rabbit amiibo, a Luigi Rabbit amiibo, like, all amiibo some of the characters? Like, seriously. I, I want to get the... If they do a Mario amiibo with... Do you do a Mario laser gun amiibo that shows Mario with his laser gun... With his laser handgun? Then I will buy it and I will enjoy using it. Because I love it. So, please, please, whoever's producing... Please, Ubisoft. Please, 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 please produce amiibo on this... I am dying to possibly see some. If they announce Amiibo, I'm going to do a video on it. I'm going to be so diehard. I'm, I love Amiibo. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, I, uh, I hunt Amiibo. They have to do a uh, Amiibo lineup for My Rats Kingdom Battle. Then I will buy all of them. I will buy them, buy them, buy them. And I'll enjoy the heck out of them. But it seems to be. So what do you think all these details that got mentioned? Do you think this game is going to turn out good when it's revealed in E3? If so, so you basically two weeks late. Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to think of something. I'm trying to think. Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to think of something. So, in two weeks, it has to be like, possibly, today's the 29th during this recording. I'm trying to check my calendar. Oh my god! So, possibly next week or the or the week after, we could get all we can. E3 2017 is happening. It's where this game will finally be revealed to its audience, so we can finally see this game finally be pitched and ready for action. So, hope you guys enjoyed all these details. Hope is, and I can't wait for this game to be revealed at E3. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.